Dave. I don't usually have a head for these videos. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about the Matek controller. It's a small, simple, ergonomic controller. It's affordable and reliable to go and have fun on your board. To go forward, push your thumb all the way forward. Brake, pull your thumb all the way back. So the Matek has a thumb control here. Uh, other devices have a trigger control. It doesn't matter which one you choose, they both use the same connection, both as reliable as each other. <coughs> I personally prefer the Matek with a thumb style controller, just how small and handy it is. Our new controllers that are coming soon um, will use a different connection, and um, they'll be a little bit more pricey, um, but that comes with the advanced features of them. I can't fucking get So one of the features of this button, if you press it once, it'll start to flash rapidly. That means you're in fast mode now. In fast mode, it's really fast. You press it again, the flash will slow down. That's into slow mode. In slow mode, it's much more chilled out. It only gives you 60% throttle. A lot better for beginners. Another feature of this button is you can use it to pair to other Matek receivers. And to do this, we need to power off the board. Then power off the controller. Then we're going to hold this button down until all three lights on the controller start flashing. This can take about 10 seconds or so. As soon as they start to flash, release the button and plug in your loop keys. This will power the receiver, connecting it to the controller. And now we're all connected and the board's ready to go. So the controller has three LEDs at the top, one blue, two green. We're going to talk about LED one, two and three here. <clears throat> the first LED is just to indicate whether it's connected or not. As soon as you power on the controller, it will flash steadily. That means it's not connected. As soon as it connects to the board, it will turn a solid blue. And then LED three will light up, indicating that it's connected to the board. And the middle LED is just for the controller battery itself. As soon as it starts to drop some voltage, the light will start to flash. And then as it drops more voltage, it will flash, flash more rapidly. And then as, uh, when it's at low voltage, it will um, have a solid light and it's time to charge your controller. long ride we like to take out a power bank to charge our controller and a micro USB cable. The controller can take one to two hours to charge if it's dead but you should be able to get a little bit of juice back in it while you have some lunch. <coughs> to connect it just the micro USB end into the side of the controller and then the USB into your power bank and you should see it light up to indicate it's charging. Then you can enjoy some lunch. So that's covered the Matek controller. Good little affordable controller. Does everything you need it to do. We've also got the Trample Ones coming out soon. We'll be doing a video on that, so check those out. They come out with a range of features, much more advanced than this controller. So I think we're going to head back now. The weather's gone a bit shit. <laughs> <laughs>